Welcome back to another tutorial guys. Today we'll be looking at getting a custom RPC for our project here. Um, in a previous video that I specified with the project registration, I mentioned that RPCs are optional. Uh, within the new uh, Web3 Unity SDK release 2.0 and upwards, it will become mandatory to have an RPC. Now, an RPC is just used to receive and send data to the blockchain and from the blockchain. For instance, if you're trying to read information like owner of NFTs, balances of different custom tokens, um, or just merely trying to submit a, a transaction. And that's what an RPC is for. Now, let's say we're on the Binance Smart Chain, you have public RPCs and you've got custom or private RPCs. Um, for instance, you could use a public RPC, which could be potentially 50% slower when it comes to handling transactions, or you can go with um, a company like QuickNode or Chainstack, get a custom RPC, which is probably gonna be faster, uh, but there will be like an API credit limit there. Uh, there are benefits to both ends though, but for today's episode, we'll just be having a look and seeing, um, you know, how hard is it to get a custom RPC and, uh, and how can we use that RPC? So it's very straightforward, should be a short video. Very first thing that we can do here is we can make our way to quick note as an example. I'll, I'll leave the links in the comments so that you guys have a few options. I've used Chainstack and I've used quick note and they're both kind of good. They both do the same thing essentially. Chainstack offers a lot more um, I guess credits when it comes to API calls, but they do require upfront uh, card details, which I know not a lot of people uh, might be comfortable with. Whereas Quick Note is, uh, is completely free. You can just sign up, create an account, and immediately create an endpoint. So I guess <laughs> depending on what chain and network you want to go for, uh, we could use Binance Smart Chain as an example. And we can then actually, even though apologies, yeah, no, we'll use we'll use Binance Smart Chain in this case. Um, we can say we want to use the testnet because we will be doing testing. <laughs> we don't want to spend real money. We can click on continue. There'll be a few options. They'll try to kind of sell and add on a few options, but you don't have to go for it. You can just click uh, on create endpoint. And after we've clicked on create endpoint. Wow, it's taking, it's taking a while. There we go, it's done. Now, obviously I won't keep this one alive because my provider's been exposed, which means anyone can use it. Uh, but you would be using the HTTP provider in this case, or HTTPS provider based on who you're going with. And you can simply enter that under RPC. Boom, we'll check the options that we've saved. And if we look at the console, our project ID is valid. And sure enough, the RPC is valid as well. Now, in future episodes, when it comes to reading data and writing data from smart contracts, I'll show you guys how we use this RPC um, as a means to, to fetching that data from the blockchain. But um, apart from that, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you feel like you want to, and I'll see you guys in the next video.